exactly 118 elements in the periodic table but why didn't we stop there if adding more neutrons and protons was a business then why did nature do it until it eventually fuses into a peppercorn sized nucleus that's enough so that we can study them efficiently imagine robert bending his lungs to lift a paper boat with a straw easy right now replace the paper boat with a real one before trying replace robert with a strong force and his boats with the neutrons and protons of an atom Today, four fundamental forces govern the universe and the exchange of force particles transmits all these forces. Remember Robert? We need him again. No matter how hot he sucks, he won't lift the peppercorn unless he gets closer. Similarly, the strong nuclear force could only act such close atomic distances. So if you somehow brought some protons too close to the nucleus, the strong force magically binds your protons with the nucleus. And that's nuclear fusion. Sometimes the nucleoids are radiated away when a strong force couldn't handle them. Alpha, beta, gamma, neutron. Of these, nature uses the hand way to decay stuff to its stable form. But our weak force only engages in beta decay. The protons and neutrons are flared with up and down quarks, along with some electrons sprinkled around to make 99% of all matter in the universe. Other flavors are its heavier cousins. In the quantum world, the more massive you are, the shorter you live. I know it's weird. Just to the point. Changing its flavor will change its type. For example, if a nucleus has too many protons, it will emit a positron. A positive electron. Or if the neutron is surplus, the nucleus will emit an electron. The cool thing is, the W particle can be positive or negative to get the job done. A new particle and a Nobel Prize. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Now, it's the 30s man and people are heavily influenced by the symmetry of nature. Sava. The energy is not 100% conserved over there. Huh? Imagine you are waving at a mirror and in return it hacks you back. Later, physicists calculated that with equal to mc squared and found a neutrino is also being emitted along with those leptons. Science is just magic cause all these ritual particles are created and destroyed during the decay and do not pre-exist in the nucleus. Well, if the W carries only the charge, then who has the energy and other things? This zero charge particle was later called Z. But why but? Theories suggest force carriers should be massless, but how are these W and Z bosons are heavier than an entire atom of iron? Imagine the whole quantum world is underwater. The more you interact with the water, the more massive you are. The water is the Higgs field and where all the particles gain their masses. Who said the weak force is weak? Calling it a balanced force could be better, because if the weak force is stronger than it is, then the sun would run out of fuel years ago. If it were weaker, the sun wouldn't have ignited at all. At high energy levels, the weak force has shown the properties of electromagnetism, so together we call it electro weak force. If you think that this has absolutely nothing to do with this topic, well, you know Big Bang? Before the bang occurred, everything was at a single point, even all the fundamental forces. This means the electroweak force could be further unified to the strong force to make the grand unified theory. If he could do that, then the god of all theories, the beginning of the big bang, the theory of everything, could also be done when you unify gravity to the grand unified theory. So that physics will be completed once again and I congratulate you on your trip to Stockholm.